What's up guys, Laura Sanko here for Quick Hits presented to you by Jose Cuervo Tequila and I am here with the one, the only Joe Pfeiffer. That is two first round knockouts in two of UFC fights. And you just said to me off camera, in case they forgot, I needed to, I mean, I needed them to remember. I did. Um, you know, we got the Uprising Stars and Bo Nickel, the Uprising Stars and the kid tonight, Rosa Jr. And uh, they're both very, very good in their own respect. But, you know, I'm still on the scene. I'm a big dude. I'm a middleweight. And I hit hard. And I only need one shot. And let's not forget, I'm one of the people that have openly told their story about how I went from nothing to be here. And I'm not a role model, but I want to be an inspiration. So I'll never let that go to rest. You absolutely are. And I, I love that you tell that story. And if you guys haven't, haven't seen that, Google it. Find the information. It's amazing that you are here and accomplishing these things. And I appreciate that you're so willing to be open about that stuff. Talk to me about this fight week, though, because like, there was definitely an edge to you all fight week. Uh, just talk to me about the mentality coming into this one. Um, I go to a dark place to be able to perform. And, uh, you know, I was tired of seeing all the critics, you know, these, and it's not their fault. Like, people do their job. <clears throat> but I've been doing this since I was four and a half years old. And I am 26 years old now. I've been doing this for 21 years. And he's had 50 fights. But the only record I cared about that Gerald had was 10 and 7 in the UFC. That man had seven ways to leave this octagon. I have one to know. And my only loss ever was because of mental health. Um, so as far as in my mind and the Dustin Solzfuss, we can run that shit back. You're one and four in the UFC. I've called you out two or three different times. You don't respond. Then you tell me your health is a priority. I respect that. I respect you as a person. But this isn't a win. And I have a life-altering injury because of you. So run that shit back. I like that fight a lot for you. But tonight, you, as you said, you're facing a veteran, a, a guy with a lot of fights, a guy with some excellent grappling. Um, what, what was the mission, I guess, tonight when you went in there? What, what were you looking to accomplish other than a win, obviously? <clears throat> Hurt him. Dominate him. I, I am a very explosive, fast middleweight, and I am a bigger middleweight. So I uh, knock him out. That was my goal. And that's why I wasn't like, I know he was getting to me early, like, bullshit kicks, left body kick. We knew that was going to be there. You saw my hand like this. Either he was going here or here. So I respect Gerald, but I don't think he's evolved as a fighter, respectfully. And, uh, you know, we were just looking for our shots. I'm not going to say what our game plan was because, you know, we train different per, you know, per fight. So, uh, but yeah, go out there, dominate and show them that I really do have this kind of power. And I was pissed off all week to answer your question yeah. because everybody's saying this guy's got 50 fights. Yeah. I don't care. Yeah. I'm here. I'm 26. And I'm in shape. You are in shape. And by the way, I mean, to, the, to your point, you, are, you, are you bigger than you were? I mean, I, I, last time I interviewed on the, you on the Contender Series... I mean, you're a big guy, but like, I feel like you could put, put on some size, some frame. I did. I was walking around about 219 this camp, and I caught all the way down. So that's also a reason why I was pissed off. It was a very, it was the toughest cut of my career, but we did it right. Yeah. And uh, uh, yeah, shout out to Pursuit Fitness, my strength conditioning coach. I got him out here to see the fights, fruits yeah. of his labor as well. And uh, yeah, I did. I got a lot bigger. Well, you put that muscle to use. That was a beautiful, long left hook and the right hand. I mean, did you know that, that that left hook in particular would be there coming into this fight? I knew the number two shot was going to be there. I didn't really give a crap if the left hook landed, but I knew this was going to catch. And honestly, I, I like looking out there briefly with Joe, it didn't really look like it landed clean, but yeah. I hit hard. Literally. So, um, and I put on size too, because you got to remember when I came back to contender, I was out for almost two years. I had, wow. I had one surgery. Then I had a bone growth and I had to go back in. They cut it back open and I had to do it all again. So I wasn't able to weight train for my two comeback fights. Yeah. That's why I took the time from September till now. Got bigger, did this the right way. Now I'm filling out my frame. So you're saying we're just seeing the beginning of the growth. We haven't even seen the best yet. Listen, I've only been with a, a real team, yeah. with a strength coach, with MMA coaching full-time and everything for about two years now. I love it. We, uh, we're sponsored by Jose Cuervo. So we have this thing called Shot of the Night. And I want to show you this picture here real quick. Just talk to me about who is in this shot and what they mean to you and what they mean to your journey to being here tonight in this moment. I have no family, Laura. None that are in uh, none that are in my life that care to know how I'm doing. And uh, Sean Brady is my brother. I wish I always had. Yeah. And Jonathan and John are the coaches that I've always needed to believe in me. I was a kid that went through life not knowing how to deal with emotions and it broke me and I was depressed and I was suicidal even after my first contender and that's why I come here and I fight with this energy you know whatever is meant to be for me out there is meant to be I'm not saying I'm going to win everything but I will go out there and I will be 
relentless and I will be resilient because that's what I've been proven to be. And I'm a, I'm a testimony that life isn't over until you, until you throw the gloves out, you know, take the gloves off and say, I'm done. I wasn't done. I was told I would never fight again. I came back and I thought, look at where I'm at. Look at what I just did. You know, looking up at that crowd, I don't know if these fans know who I am, but they will now. They absolutely will. You are an overcomer, and you have found a family in these friends and coaches, and it's beautiful to see, Joe. I can't wait to watch you fight again, man. I'm Thank so you. excited for you. <laughs> Congratulations. Guys, keep it locked in right here. More quick hits headed your way.